How do I cancel? Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, damn it. Ah, I didn't put the title right, y'all. I hit enter by accident. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'll fix the title later. I am. I wanted to make it. Yeah, it's okay. It don't matter. Listen. Um, I'll fix the title later. But what am I doing in this video? So y'all see me. I draft out the pattern for the belt. Uh, and you saw me even cut the belt, but not on this channel, right? On my other channel, a couple of nights ago, I actually cut the fabric. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And then we're going to finish by me making the waistband. I'm going to cut that. And then the next step in this will be actually sewing it together. Um, but everything, before I go up to the sewing machine, I'm going to make sure I have everything. Um, so, <clears throat> give me a second here. Let me see if I can turn this webcam on. I'm going to kind of, I guess, go through what I've already done. Just kind of like a recap. But first, I need to. What came on? Which one am I using this one? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So, first thing I did, right, was I made a pattern. And if I think I made this pattern here. Okay. This is for me. Right. This is my. This will be for me. Okay. This this is for somebody with my waist and the length. It really don't matter about your butt size and stuff like that. It's really about the waist and how long you want it to be on your body. Okay. So I did want it to cover uh, a lot of my butt in the back. And so after making this, I added seam allowance to the bottom and the top. Okay, see my lines bottom and the top. I also marked where I'm, um, if I decide to add some interfacing, I marked where I want the interfacing because I don't think I want the interfacing all the way to the top. I'm going to put a little interfacing in the waistband, and I decided that interfacing will probably go from mid way down. And what does interfacing does? It gives it some structure. And I don't, okay, now. This is a full circle. Although it doesn't look like a full circle, this is, I, I created this as a one-fourth of a circle. This is an exact pattern of a, a fourth or a quarter of a circle, right? So then I put it down on a fabric, fold it four. And when you do that and you cut it, this is what it ended up being, right? This is, if I put this on here, it'll be exactly that thing. Doop, doop. Okay. So then when I unfold it, once it's a half a circle. See, it's a, exactly a half a circle. And I've uh, unfolded again To completely have it unfolded, right? I want to make sure y'all can see. Can y'all see that? Okay, yeah. Uh, if I completely unfold it, it's a full circle. Okay, it's a full circle. And the measurement that I cut off, which was at the end, this is my waist. My waist measurement. If yours is smaller or bigger, then the circle will be either smaller or certain. Uh, or bigger, right? And I'm going to slide it on, y'all. Let me put it over my head. Because I'm going to show it to y'all. So it, it, remember, I am using a measurement that's a little slightly bigger than I am. I told y'all that, right? 
um, because I, I feel com I, I just felt comfortable making it a little bigger. But you see, it's on my waist, right? So it's probably like two inches, three inches big, right? Giving me some. But it fits all around, and look where it's gonna fall on my butt. Okay, yes, my butt. It's gonna fall real nice. It's gonna be a little shorter than this, um, because I'm going to um, remember I put an inch uh, seam along, so it's gonna be a little shorter. And it's also, but it's not gonna be that short because this is not the waistband. Okay, the the waistband is probably sit where this is. And then so it's going to be just a tad longer. And so you can see where it falls on me in the front. Falls me about there. And this is a belt. So it's not a skirt. <laughs> if it was a skirt, it would be too short. Okay? But see? Yeah, y'all, I made it a little too big. That's my conscious, you know, thinking, okay, if I put 38. <laughs> because I'm, 38 would probably be what I need around the waist and I I made it 44 that's that's my conscience right um me not feeling comfortable and thinking let me just go bigger but my measurements really are something like a 36 37 and a half probably right um and then 54 um if I if I was doing pants though I gotta go up 56 but with a skirt or something, I don't have to do the full. Okay, so let me take that off. That shows that the circle fits me. Okay, that's my measurements. Um, now, so that's how I did that. And I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm actually going to end up cutting it uh, in half, right? But I'm going to do that when I get to that point. And I'm also going to put, I'm not sure if y'all noticed, because it's a full circle, it's going to create its own little pleats, like a little pleat. Now, if you want deep pleats, uh, or um, if you want deep pleats, you will make it bigger. Not, not the actual roundness, you would make the whole bigger. This part, you will make this bigger. Um... Okay, so I would I would I would just make this part bigger. Ooh, it's still hot. I don't know if it's me, but I think the air is on. Let me check. <laughs> um, let me see. The light is. Oh, oh God! It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Jeez. It's hot, Lord, in mercy, and it says that it's 50, um, I'm sorry, it says that it's 55 degrees in here, and I'm hot. Oh, my God, that must be a hot flash. Woo, lovely. Let me see if I, see, I don't, it's confusing these days, but my body's doing what the hell it wants to do when it wants to do it. Oh, Lord, I need a. Black co or something, because it's out of there right now. It just got hot real sudden. Man, oh, my. oh no, I have. I was about to say, I know. So, yeah, I keep my stuff with me. I keep a little book bag that I bring up and down with my sewing stuff in it, right? And then I got to make sure I, oh, Lord, because I'm telling you, it's like it just got hot. I'm going to take two of these. Because uh, it's not like that. I haven't had to take these in, in a while. Just every once in a while. Whew, I thought this shit was over. <laughs> well, I guess. But my mother-in-law did tell me um, that she still have them every once in a while today. Like still. In like her 70s, 80s, right? I'm not sure how old my mother-in-law is. But I, I know she's older than my mother. Um, so... I put it like maybe late seventies or early eighties, right? Uh, but if she's still having them, my God, <laughs> ladies, do not wish for this, okay? Mm. Okay, 
I know somebody gonna say I'm taking drugs on camera, y'all. That's what they always do. They always bomb is on drugs. Black cohort is slowing up my brain. It's a drug, it's an opiate, y'all. It's an opiate. <laughs> it's an opiate. I'm going to end up dying on opiates, even though it's, it's actually black cohort is actually a, um, a natural herb. That's all. That's all it is. But, you know, it's YouTube, baby. It's YouTube. Okay, so anyway, y'all going to see me. It's, I, I'm making it double-sided. Um, even though the same steps that people who aren't, who aren't making it double-sided use, it's the same except they call one side a lining, right? But the difference is you could use any lining, any color, any um, thing in there. But lining is not really to be seen. But I want one side to be black and white. I And I only chose this because it's like the best that I, that I have that's cotton was black and then I didn't want to put like a pink on the other side um yeah because I could make it where you when when it's on that you could see some of the lining you know what I mean like if I decide to make the which I was thinking about making the one side uh shorter or I could go in and do some designs, cut some designs, you know, where where it is like looks different. I could do all kinds of things with this. In in fact, I could do what I want with it. That's the thing about making your own stuff. And let me tell you something: you don't have to have a sewing machine to make this knife. The sewing portion of this project is is not a lot. The only thing is not a lot of sewing. Okay, and so I can actually make this by hand if y'all wanted me to because I'm going to sew this, right? I'm going to end up sewing this, which I'm simply just going to take a needle and go whoop, 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 in and out, right? Of course, it might take about 10, 15 minutes, depending. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top after I flip it out. You're not going to be able to tell that it was done by hand. Uh, if you do it the way I'm showing you how to do it, none of your stitches will show. The only thing that you're going to be careful when you start sewing is depending on uh, when you put the waistband on, right? And so, of course, you're going to take more a little more time putting the waistband on. But I'm going to be honest, it'll be better, nicer, probably come out neater if I use, uh, if I hand sew the handband on, uh, the waistband on. It just depends. It just depends on how good you are with the sewing machine. But usually hand stitching, it can be a little more exact. You can know exactly where to put that needle and so it can be hidden. Okay. But anyway, I, I ramble a lot, I know. And remember, I told y'all, so this was the portion that made the circle, right? This is what it looked like. And when it was like this, when I when I folded it, then I cut this part off, which made my circle. And then I told y'all, okay, what, what, what can I do with this? I'm gonna make a hat. I'm gonna make a hat with this. And it's gonna be, even though it's gonna only be one-sided, you're gonna be able to see this part. It's, I'm not gonna be able to reverse the hat, in other words. I'm not gonna be able to wear it on this side if I want to, and then this side if I want to. But what it will be, it will be, I, I'm going to use it, the black side is the main side, and on the other side, so in other words, it's going to be a hat like this. It's going to be black, and then you're going to be able to see the black and dark side, the black and white side, okay? You're going to be able to see it on my head. And so I think that's cool. And so no matter what side I decide to wear this on, this the hat will fit, uh, will match. Okay. Don't throw away uh your fabric. Now, if you but if I was smaller, like if, if I had cut this smaller, probably wouldn't be too much I could do with this. 
Like, but I would be able to figure something. I can make a bag with this too, like a little pouch. It would be small. Cut in half like that. I could make a bag like this. Um, and I would have uh, put a handle on it or a, just a zipper with some type of handle on it. And it could be a nice little bag that goes with this as well, a clutch. Okay, it would be, uh, of course, a little more than me just folding it like this, but I could make this into a clutch. Uh, I think I'm, I love hats, so I'm going to make this into a hat, okay? Um, now, what else? Um, so, now this is the, uh, the thing. I haven't decided if I want this to be, number one, I'm not sure if I want to make it, I was thinking about tie, making a tie, but I don't really like things that tie because, uh, especially if it's going to be in the front, I don't think it, it's flattering for my body shape. So I'm not going to do a tie, not an actual where it's long enough to tie on. I'm not going to do that. But I could um, still tie it by adding it and then adding in, um, you know how you lace up the shoes? I would add in, uh, I forget those things called, I do have some, put, them, put maybe two or three in the front and then make a lace and then lace this up and tie it that way. That'll be more flattering, right? Because it'll be flat. It'll just be like a string. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or just make a one button where I, in that area, I just button it up, like button it and bam, it's on. But because I know I'm not going to use a zipper, it don't matter. And I know I'm not going to tie, right? Because that means I would have to make the waistband longer if I was going to tie. So I know I'm not going to do that. Boom. So I'm not worried about that. So I can decide on that when I get there. But if I was making a, a tie, I would want the waistband to be a lot longer. Okay. And the waistband would go on and be here. And then they would have something to hang. And from there, I would tie it. I'm not doing that. Okay. So I know I'm not doing that. Um, so now I just need to do the waistband. I'm going to cut that. Um, my waistband is going to be just black. I was thinking about doing it double, right? Where one side is black and one side is the black polka dot, right? And so when I, re when I reverse it, I'll have the black polka dot on this and, uh, and the regular black on the black side. But I decided, no, I don't need to do that. Just make the waistband black, and a black waistband still will look good on the black polka dot side, right? So that solved that. <clears throat> so basically what I need to do is cut my waistband the length in which I need it to be. My Remember, even though 44 is bigger, um, I'm still going to keep the same notion that I have, I'm going to do 44 inches, and I'm going to add seam lines. I think the 44 inches will include the, will include the um, seam allowance, because this, when I put it on, it was quite big, okay, because um, I'm, I'm, it's about a 38, maybe a, a 36, I can get it in 36, okay, but I made that a 44. But I'm going to be safe, right? I am going to cut it out at a 44 plus mm, two inches, okay? Um, so that would be 44, uh, 46. I'm going to do a 46 and 46 and 46, uh, 46 divided by two equals 23, right? Yes. And so if I'm looking on here, I have measurements without even having to go to my ruler. I see 23 right here. From here to here is 23. So I'm going to do that, right? And then I'm going to fold it there. Having a mat down makes things easier. 
because I don't always have to grab my ruler, right? For those who don't have a mat, though, you you will have to grab your ruler. That's the reason I got this mat. It's a cutting mat plus mainly for the um, it makes things so much easier, y'all. <clears throat> okay, so when so I have it folded. Let me see how. Um, I wanna, I don't wanna wait to fabric neither. Sometimes it depends on how your fabric is. It depends on what's the best way to fold it, so you don't waste fabric. I'm not sure if. Uh, wait, how long is this already? Now, how many inches is this? See, I have a piece of fabric that's already cut because it was cut from something. And yeah, I'm gonna use this. Okay, let me see how long this is. From here to here. I'm gonna take that. And that way I don't waste fabric. Look at that. And you know what? I'm glad I saw that. Okay. So there to here and here to here will be I'm not really concerned about much, but now I just need to cut right there. Okay. Cut the most of that one. That's good. Because some people, now the thing is though, wait, wait. I don't need it to stretch at all. Now, so it's tricky with certain things, just a small waistband. Usually when you're doing certain things, you cut it on the bias. Um Cutting it on a bias would allow it to kind of move around a little bit. I don't think I need to cut this waistband on a bias. It's it's only gonna be like an inch. Um yes, yeah, so I'm not concerned about cutting it on a bias. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna even explain what that is because you don't need to know it if you don't need to know it, right? <laughs> uh, let me see. These are not these are not uh, fabric scissors. And the thing is, I'm hoping my fabric scissors are not bad. I'm going to get the just so I have my cutting. Um, I just brought one down. Oh, I have a couple of these. Um, I have another one somewhere down here. I just said, but I'm just gonna cut this strip, okay? Um, not even gonna worry about cutting it straight at the moment. This piece is already cut straight, okay? But it's too big anyway. But what I do want to do is I wanna at least. I mean, I'm gonna go up. Oh my god. I'm at the edge of this. I'm gonna cut that out. That's why you need a cutting mat if you use this type of, uh, if you use this, you need a cutting mat. You cannot cut on a just on the table. It will cut, but you'll be ruining your table. So you need a cutting mat. This is a self-healing cutting mat. That means it heals. You can't even see any cutting marks in this at all. It heals, okay? Um, 
to make it make it easier on yourself, which I, I'm going to make it easier on myself in a minute. First, I'm going to iron this a little bit. Just got it. My iron shuts off automatically. And when I click it like that, it clicks on, it turns on automatically. So it's on. I'm going to flatten this a little bit. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to measure it. Get it all done. Then I'm going to interface it. Okay. Right now, I think we have it at. Larger than I needed it to be. Is that 24 times 2? Ah, four, four. So it's at 48. Remember, I don't even need 48. But it's at 48. It's also at like 8 inches wide, and I don't need that at all. I'm going to do it at maybe, um, I just want the waistband to be either 1 or 2 inches. So I'm going to do it at 3 inches wide. Okay, just and then I'll get a feel for what I like after that. And I cannot do not iron directly on your healing mat because it will warp it. So my ironing pad I think is upstairs, but it doesn't matter. You just need something fabric, other fabric. You can iron on other fabric. Okay. Just so the moisture don't go to your, you will mess up things that you buy. And let me tell you, this uh, hip self healing pad. I think this one costs. It was on. I got it on sale for like fifty something dollars. It was like almost a hundred dollars, if it wasn't on sale. Okay. So you do not want to mess up the stuff that you buy. Your tools are very important. Okay. So now I've. Ironed it, giving it some, um, making it straight. And what I'm going to do to make it easier for me to measure and make sure that it's as straight as I can get it, I'm actually going to fold it in four. This is the same thing I did with the skirt. You're wondering why you fold it. I could have put this whole thing on the floor and drew a whole circle around. It would have took longer to do that. And then I could have sat there and measured and boom, 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 and measured a, a line going all the way around and then cut it. But you make things easier by making them smaller, right? So I'm going to fold this in four. And now I'm going to take the, the length that I want and I'm going to uh, divide that by four. Right, I showed y'all me doing that already. So I want let's do 40. What I said, we're gonna do 46 just to be safe. 46 divided by four is um, two, no, 11, one, two, six, which is one third, yeah, two. Yeah, one third. So it's going to be 11 and a third. And a one, 11 and a third, okay? Which is um, 1.75, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I'm sorry, 11.75. Depending on which type of um, ruler you have. Um, if y'all need me to help y'all with ruler measurements, that's another topic another day right so i just need this to be 11 and a third in order for me to so and this is the folding right let me see I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just do it like this, y'all. I just, when I, my rule is long enough. What I, did I say I need? Uh, divide it into two. Twenty-three. Yeah, my my rule is long enough. 
at 23. If it would have been longer, that's when. So 23, put that there. Put it to 23 at this end. Make sure it's straight, 23. And I also, though, what I said I wanted the three inches, because I know definitely I don't want the dope, the, uh, it to, I don't want it to be um, longer than two inches, right? So, so three inches would be good. So I'm going to put one, two, three. I'm also going to put that on a three. I'm going to put this on a three. And then I'm going to put this on a 23. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I did so you can see it. <clears throat> Let me grab my phone. Connect to it. Now give me a second. I'm going to go to Zoom. I'm trying to be, I know other people don't really go into detail of what I'm doing. But I know sometimes it sounds harder than it is. But when I show you, it'll be, it's not as hard as it sounds. You'll understand it, okay? That's why I go into detail. I know it seems like I'm rambling, but I'm not rambling. Not right now, anyway. But actually, I am rambling right in this moment. <laughs> in this exact moment, I am doing exactly that. And that's called rambling. But give me a second, y'all. Let me go. Go down, connect to Zoom. Uh -oh. Okay, cool. And you see? Okay. So this is my measurements. You see the three? Because I want this to be three inches. So from the three. That's one inch, two inch, three inch, right? I want this to be no longer than three inches um, wide. And then if you come to this side, you'll see, remember I didn't want it to be longer than 23 inches long. So I put it the 20 inch on the fold because one side is folded and one side isn't. Um, this side over here is the folded side. And this side isn't the folded side. See that? This isn't folded. So you put the 23 on the fold. If you can look close, you'll see the 23 is on the folded of my fabric. And that means when I come to this end, all I have to do is cut like this and go all the way. And then I'll have exactly what I need. Okay, I'm going to sit this here so y'all can see me do it, I guess. It's, it's much easier this way. Okay, let me see if y'all can see. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this here. And if I think that it might move, you don't want it to move. Okay. I'm going to simply take this, go against the ruler, and cut like that. Make sure that it's cut off. Sometimes it don't. But my blade isn't as sharp as it needs to be. Okay, or I can, if you want to, you can also um, mark it, right? This is black though. I don't know if I have any white chart. I should. Uh oh, no, no, no. I run out of chart. So much, y'all. I have a piece of white here. No, no, that's it. Not throwing your, your pieces away. Believe it or not, that little bitty piece is a lot, baby. <laughs> okay? Because it can make the mark that I needed to make. Uh -oh. That little piece broke up a little bit on me. It's okay, though. Would have been done if the piece was a little bigger. Okay, it broke on me though. It broke on me. Okay. 
just want to make sure I got that. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I was using scissors, I would just move this out the way. Um, you you want to pin it because you don't want it to slid and slide, of course. Um, I'm not sure what I did with my little pin. I think I'll be moving shit over here. Um, but anyway, I am going to, I'm just going to cut that. It don't have to be perfect, okay? It does not have to be perfect because this will, um, there's a seam allowance, okay? I do have to change this blade. And I do have some blades. I just don't even feel like looking for them. Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm moving around. For the last couple of weeks, we've been moving the stuff around down here. Moving my living room around. Okay. The way I have it moved, I'm not, I don't like it. So probably don't really like it. <laughs> Hubby don't like change, though, okay? Hubby don't like change at all. Every time I change things, he, he don't never like it, but he gets used to it, okay? But it gives Luke some room to uh, ride his bike and stuff in the house. Hubby says the bike is not to be written in the house. I agree. I kind of agree with that, but I don't see it. what's the problem there. Riding the bike in the house. Damn it, y'all. You know what I didn't take account for? That raw edge. But that's less than an inch, so. See that raw edge? I didn't take account for that. Now, it doesn't really matter because I can make that in the seam allowance, right? And then I'll, I'll end up getting rid of that, okay? So you don't have to really worry about things like that. In fact, some people throw the edges away, but if it's in the seam allowance, you're actually just wasting fabric. That's It's not going to be seen, and it will be in the seam allowance. Okay? So this is going to be my waistband, and essentially what I'm going to do is we're going to fold this under. There's two ways I could do this. I could, I could take this and fold it like that. Or I can take one side, fold it, and then take this side and fold it like that. And that'll be my waistband. That's a little more than an inch. Okay. Take it, fold it over, and that'll be the waistband. Uh-oh, y'all can't see it anymore. It folds up, let me see. It's gonna be a small waistband. Now I'm thinking about um, if I want an inch. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just the part that goes on your waist. That's it. It's no no big deal. Okay. And I'm making sure, and I'm gonna put it around my waist now. Let me see. I gotta put it around my waist, but not completely around without I have two things on. I have taken account. I don't know. Yep, yeah, it fits nicely. Uh yeah. It's a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> So this is gonna be my waistband. Okay, so that's out, out the way, but I am about to um, make this a little bigger. I'm sorry, but make it a little stiffer. Let me grab some. Um, by interfacing it, 
have different types of interfacing. Um, not sure. I have featherweight, lightweight, midweight, and then I have fleece. Then I have thicker for bags. But I, I do not, mm, be honest, this feel a little heavier than maybe I want. I have some featherweight somewhere around here. It should be in my thing over there. We run out. This is the this is I run out of this more than anything. So this is I think if I'm correct, that might be mid. This is fleece interfacing. This is it's feel like neat weight. This is lightweight but this is stretch also okay this is this is for knit but i could use that on there but cost effective is not cost effective i mean weight that on what else wait i have this this is too thick and that is too thick mm. Okay, I just, this is, it's not cost effective for me to use this. This is too, way too thick. Fleece is for bags and hats and, but this is also, this is almost like fabric itself. And so it's not lightweight. I would call this mid weight. I don't, have the paper for it, that's why I'm not sure. Okay. I don't want it in my seam rounds anyway. Let's see. I'm gonna need like two of these or I'm gonna do it this way. You know. But I think I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna cut it into pieces. Okay. So I need two strips and a quarter, maybe. And I just want the strips to be um, images. So, as you can see, I put the two on the edge and I'm going to mark it. The white is not needed. I'm not gonna be able to use the white. I need it. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I put the two on that line. Mm -hmm. And then I put the two on that line. But I don't have to go all the way. I just need a little bit. I'm gonna go to this well. Um, uh, to this well. That should be enough. It's probably a little more than a quarter. And then I'm gonna cut those pieces. I'm gonna move this here.
And then I'm going to just put those Mm -mm. Right, we can. You probably want the iPad, which is in my room, one of me, but. Oh, let's put this back on. Now, unless you know for sure that this is long enough uh, for you, you, and you can make it, your waistband as wide as you want it. Some some people don't even use waistband, right? They don't. Uh, and also, if I wanted to, I could use elastic. Fold this over and kind of just, uh, it don't have to be folded uh, a certain way here, unless you want the inside to be perfect, which if I hadn't left this little edge on here, that's what I would have just done. I would just fold it like this. Uh, but because I do have that edge there, I'm going to kind of fold this under a little bit. Okay. Really don't matter. Let me grab something so I got my new one. There's a side that you could feel a bumpy side, and there's a smooth to the side. Okay. And so let me just put this down the center. Let me look at that. And it, it sticks to it. Now it's attached to that fabric, like it's one. Okay. Do you need interfacing? Um, it really depends on what type of fabric you have. Did I need interfacing with this black? Uh, I didn't. didn't need it, but if you notice your collars, your 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 um, areas where buttons go, um, those things get interfaced. Okay. So if you don't have interfacing, do you need interfacing? You do not. In certain things. Now, if your fabric is lighter than mine, then yes, you would need some interfacing. Now, I'm not sure if you could tell there's a big difference in this fabric now. It's thicker, it has some weight to it. It's not just flappy like it was. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. Extra piece that I. I'm gonna put that somewhere in case when I need that. Okay. The fabric also looked darker. 
Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, oh. You can you can even see through the lighter part when there's no interfacing. If you look, you see it. And that's what the interfacing also did. It gave it a level of where it's not transparent, as transparent as it was. Those ends that you see that's transparent are going to end up being folded over like this. Which I'm going to do now, as a matter of fact. Get it out the way since I have to iron out hot and ready. Now, you know what? If I wanted to, I could make this waistband double-sided. I would do this with the with the black and white, the exact same thing I'm doing now. And I would sew them together. On one side would be this, and on the other side would be the, uh, the black and white. And sew them together. And then put them on the more. I might just do that. Especially since uh, I like the size of this waistband. If I'm going to make this waistband smaller, though, I'm going to end up folding it like this. And this is going to be a small waistband. But if I want it to be a this size waistband, then I will, I can make it double size. I don't think I want this waistband this big. Though. Okay. I think I'm gonna just put a one button on it. Actually, I'm not sure yet. I can mine, I can do what I want with it. I'm still thinking what I want to do. It's hot, baby hot. I don't think I have any water in this. If I could keep that down, let me. Get some water. Let's add you. I have have some steam. Steam will help me. Okay. Keeping those ends down. Steam also will mess up my mat. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so now it's staying down. Okay, it's hot. Okay, I'm going to, that's an inch. Yeah, that's an inch. Okay. That is most definitely an inch when I fold it. Y'all get to see me do this shit live, and that way you won't think that you can go and cut something up, and it's only gonna take you a minute to make. That's what these, these videos fool you, cause it makes you think, oh, I'm all I have to do is, and Bob just said all you gotta do is do this and do this, and it should come together real easy with no. Hiccups, no mistakes, no, you know what I mean? You see me actually make it from beginning to end. And you can see if I end up needing something, right? In the midst of it, people be telling you what tools you need. And then you be wondering, wait a minute, you did never mention that. How do you do that? How did you get that done? <laughs> like, uh, you didn't show us that. You, you didn't tell us nothing about no hammer, right? You need, look, they got some tools, some things that these people be adding to me. There's some objects that you need and they never list them. And then they'll tell you, oh, and by the way, look what I've done. I decided to do this and this and this and that's what this is. And you're thinking, well, damn, you don't even show me how to do that. Now you got to go find a whole video on trying to figure out how to do what somebody did to, you know what I mean? I run into that. I ran in that so much here on YouTube. I would rather watch the person do what they're doing, see how much time it really takes, okay? And instead of them saying, oh, if you got an hour and less than 10 minutes, and what they mean is in less than 10 minutes, they're going to show you. It just takes 10 minutes of your time to watch them make it. That's what they're saying. It doesn't take, listen, it takes less than, it takes more than 10 minutes for me to cut out one pattern piece in a lot of cases. Okay. You, once you choose your fabrics and then you prep them, that, that alone could be an hour. <laughs> okay. That alone could be an hour. Do not let these people fool you. Okay, so I folded it in half. And the reason I did that is because I need to know, I need to know where the half mark of this is. I'm gonna also do that on the skirt. And that's what's gonna make sure that I have it, make sure that I don't um like for example, end up um sewing it on one end and realizing. I don't have enough to go to the other end. So you're going, I need to know the half mark. I can mark it like this. I can unfold it and cut a little uh, mark there. I can, because essentially I'm going to 
fold this in half anyway. But I do not want, um, I'm going to just leave that like that. And that'll let me know my halfway mark, okay? So I've already got that marked on here. This waistband going to look good. It is. It will not be that wide. It's going to be this wide. Okay, it's going to be that wide. Which I can right now, if I want to, which since I do have the iron on, let me just iron it in place. <laughs> It'll help. Okay, the crease, the crease will help me in the end. I'm not going to keep the crease down right now. Um, I can. It's, it's a couple of ways that I could put this waistband on. Uh, I'm going to show y'all that when I go upstairs to get to the sewing machine, which will probably be tonight sometime. <clears throat> I might be even later, a little later this evening when I decide to go up. I'm going to do everything I need to do down here with the cutting of the belt. I'm also going to um, probably prep the hat. Okay. Let me see y'all. Okay, so here it is. I don't, I have my phone, it turns off after so long. Uh, I'm about to go into settings and change it. I normally use my iPad, which doesn't turn off because I did change the settings. And that's why my iPad die every couple of days, right? Because if I don't actually turn the iPad off manually, it will stay on. Okay, so this is my. This this is how much this is my waistband. This is something small, big. I'm gonna end up putting, and since it is smaller, I think I'm gonna just put a I'm gonna put a button. I could do a hook and eye. I could do a button. Um, I I can also, if I wanted to, lace up the front. I will end up showing y'all when I get to that point. Okay, so I'm done with the waistband as far as prepping it. Okay, waistband is prepped. Waistband is prepped and ready to be put on when it's ready to put on. Um, this is extra fabric in case I decide. Um, so now I'm going to also put some interfacing on this. Now, the thing about this, I do not need interfacing, right? I, I don't, these fabrics are, have some weight to them. And I'm debating on, should I put interfacing? But the truth is, it depends on your shape. Now, if you are, let me tell you about this belt. This belt will add to you thin ladies who think that you don't have a big enough bum, this item will give you that shape that you're looking for. This, I'm telling you, and for those of us who are curvy and we want to kind of slim it down a little bit, this is perfect for that too. Now, if I still was curvy, but still want to add some curviness, in, especially in the back, then what I can do is I would have my belt that kind of goes out. You know what I mean? It's shaped, it has a, it's going to have some uh, weight to it, a structure. That's the word. It'll have a structure where it'll stick out and give you that curviness to yourself. No matter how curvy you are, this item will make you look thinner in the waist and then it curves out, right? So for thin women, you would definitely want one 
with uh, interfacing, it's going to structure, it's going to stand out, whether it's sitting on a butt or not, it's going to look like you got a butt, because it's going to stand out. Now, for a woman like myself, though, with a lot of butt, and I'm actually trying to cover it up, then I don't really need structure to make it look, <laughs> it's just going to make it bigger, right? Um, so that's why I'm debating whether I should put interfacing in mine. Okay, um, these things matter. Okay, the interface, and y'all saw what it did with this. It made it, if now this thing has structure, right now these two fabrics will be together and it already has a little structure, but it, when I put it on my waist, it was both of them. So it kind of, you know, it kind of was a little structured. I already have the curviness, so I'm not, I don't need to add. Uh, structure okay um and so yeah those are the decisions you make okay based on your body shape and what you're looking for i'm i'm trying to cover up curves not create them so i'm debating whether i should um put interfacing Okay, you'll notice that some people don't use interface and some people do. And I guess they don't tell you that it depends on your shape, depends on what you're looking for. So, okay, so that's what it depends on. So for a thinner woman, I would use structure. It will make you look like you got the hourglass shape. For those of us bigger and trying to hide, and we already got the bump, like I got the big thing in the back. I don't need nothing else that's going to make that stand up worse. So I am not going to add any, and I'm, I'm deciding now, I'm not going to add any interfacing to this. Okay. Now, if my fabrics were thinner, or if I wasn't doing a double, if I wasn't doing a double sided um, one, then I would have a little, um, I would probably add some interfacing to it. But because I, See how this iPad is still on? I haven't touched it at all since I've been on here. And it's just on because I don't have it on the time to turn off. Anyway, and, but this is about to die. So that's why let me turn this off. Uh, once I have that high, that uses your timer. Okay, I'm gonna stop the mirroring. I'm going to add this to my um, charger real quick. It's a quick charger. Like 15 minutes in before the charger. <clears throat> anyway. So it is your, your body, not just your, how big you are and stuff like that. You got to take an account for your body, the body of the person you're making it for. If you're making it for yourself and you want to be a little more curvy. I'm I'm gonna hide like I'm gonna be able to take that and uh hide that thing in the back is what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna stick. Okay. Hide it a little bit. Okay. okay. This essentially is just going to go, <clears throat> I'm going to go all around this. I'll show y'all that when I sew it. So let me see what else. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to put interfacing on it. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. I am going to cut one of these sides in half. So when it was folded in four, it's easy to work with when it's folded in four. So I'm, I'm gonna fold it back in four, okay? It's easier for me to manipulate. Okay, there we go. It's folded in four, the way I ended up cutting it. But I'm only gonna take one side and cut it down the middle, okay? 
and that will be my center back or front, depending on if I decide to put the button, if, if you decided to uh, button a tie or whatever in the back, then this will be your center back. And if you're doing it on the front, then wherever you cut will be your center front. And if you decide to tie it up on the side, then guess what? That will be your center of one, one of your sides. Okay. And so I'm just gonna, hey, I'm gonna need my scissors, which I, Ink. If they're not in this book, man, they're not in my backpack. Then we are upstairs. Yeah, I could be upstairs. Then my fabric scissors. Uh, now you could use any scissors that are cut fabric to cut fabric, but you cannot use your fabric scissors to cut anything. If that makes sense. These are not fabric scissors. In fact, these are my scissors that I use in the garden. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know how these end up right here. Probably hubby putting my scissors and things. These, these are my gardening shears. I use these in the, in the garden. Okay. Um, when people say fabric scissors, you do not, the fabric scissors does not cut nothing but fabric or you will dull them. Um, I'm not even sure if this is going to be able to cut this. Let me see. I'm gonna do a test item. Let me get some fabric. Uh oh, it just goes to a purse. It did cut though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut one side. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, yeah, let me just cut it. Just, let me iron it first, give it a crease, make sure. Don't have to be perfect, but you do want uh want them to be the same, the one that's on the right side, the inside, and the outside. So I don't think I need to press it down. I am going to let me do that. Whatever you could do. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to take long to sew this when I get to this machine. As long as I have everything prepped and ready to go. As long as I don't decide to make changes, which I'm always doing. To everything I've created. I don't think I've ever sewn anything the way I planned it. And then I start thinking, oh, let me, should I change the color of the zipper? Or should I not use the zipper? Or should I <laughs> not? As always, I never, I don't think there's anything I've ever created from beginning to end the way it started out. This probably project not gonna be any different. I because I haven't decided. I and if I'm gonna add a button, I haven't even decided uh what color button, what size button, and uh how many buttons did I want? One button, two button, do I want to hook or not? Like there's so many things I haven't decided yet. And so I don't wanna limit myself by. I'm even thinking about if I decide to add some creases in it. And then I do a string up in the front. Okay. That'll give me some options to do that. Where this will be the front. Let's say this is the front. It don't have to be right on each other to button up. But I will put some loops like like that goes on shoes. Forget those things, but it's called. I have I have them. Okay, um, and then I would put a string in and just string it up. Just, I could string it all the way to the bottom, which I don't want to do, of course. No, uh, just at the top. 
cut the string at the top and make it fall. Yeah. Well, I think I would just put a button. Kind of put a, put a button. So, I'm not gonna cut that yet. So, <clears throat> this out the way, and I'll take it up. Here's my waistband. Here's the skirt. It just needs to be sewed at the top and the bottom. It's on, and boom, uh, that'll be pretty much done. Now let's talk about this hat though. Now I do have something called it's interfacing and that'll give this hat some structure. Look like I I manipulated this around. So I'm gonna get this back away. It don't matter. First thing I need to do. See what size is gonna actually be. I, I just need to take a little bit of it at the the largest it can be is where's my ruler? This is should be 13. It's not an exact wait no. That's 11, 11 and a half, mm, maybe. It's not even an exact circle. That's why, okay. But more like an oval where it's longer going this direction than it is that direction. So it's not an exact circle. Um, but that don't matter. Um, pop that out. Then I'm gonna have to take something um, that's sticky material. Something like just cardboard. Believe it or not, that's all it is. It's double sided thing, right? So it's like two of these together, and that's how thick the head would be. That's the structure it'd be. But it's gone, it's not gonna ever, you know, because it's gonna be covered by fabric. Um, fold it over it and on it. I don't think that's thick enough. I do have something a little thicker. And I do, if I decided, even though this is all it is, if you buy it from someone, <laughs> it's gonna be something like this. People be shocked when I show you how they're making things, okay? You don't wash those type of hats anyway. It's just cardboard, okay? That's probably a little thinner than cardboard, but let me show you what I would use. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm about to get mad, y'all. Y'all gonna get mad at me on this one, baby? But here you go. Don't get mad. Don't get. Don't shoot the messenger, baby. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. You be, you be paying $100 for a hat? You mean to tell me it's just some cardboard cereal box in the inside? You goddamn right. <laughs> you know, what else to make it yourself? I wouldn't charge you $100 some dollars, of course. I wouldn't, but yeah, don't, don't get mad. Don't shoot the messenger, baby. Don't shoot me. What you mad at me for? You ain't got no reason to be mad at me. I didn't do it. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I didn't do it to the present. I didn't do it. I got cereal in here. I'm up my dick. Yeah, child. Get me finished tomorrow, right? Full. Mm, yeah, that's good. Still crunchy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, if I was making a bigger one, I would cut this in the front, probably the side, add that to it. I mean, 
We're going to cut down the middle of that. We're going to glue it on. Some people sew it on. Most of the people glue it on, okay? Um, put the fabric on it. On one side, whatever side is going to be the inside, you add some um, lace, uh, not lace, uh, elastic that'll go around your head, in the back of the head, of course. And then that is your hat. <laughs> uh, so I am going to make that right now, I think. Damn. Ah, you probably didn't know. Huh? You thought you knew, but you didn't. But you're about to learn. Okay. Baby. I thought you knew. Let me go get me a plate. Hopefully. Wait, I need this. I need to imagine what she's not to do. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, Y'all gonna learn today, baby. You're about to learn today, okay? A plate or something. So you measure out. You're gonna draw that line around that. Okay, I'm gonna draw that line around that just like that. That's gonna be the size of the actual hat. Okay. Uh oh. Look like I didn't get one side. Mm -hmm. And just to make sure. No. Circle, in case you can't see it, it is there. Okay, circle. Right, circle. I'm not sure if you can see that circle. Why is it, it looks so light over here? Uh, that is a circle that I just drew. Let me see, something's going on. I'm going to darken it up a little bit with some adjustments. Oh, can I see that? Let me see if it can. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. Oh. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think it's on here. It's black. Okay. And did I darken it up? I'll tell you. That's just a plate. Size that I'm on it. Certainly. Uh, I need two of those, so I will have to just. Go to this side and draw the next one. Make sure they're the same size. Two circles. I'm going to put those circles out.
I'm not putting directly on the line yet. I'm just going around for now, and then I'm going to trim it up on that line once I get around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, be y'all be wanting to throw boxes away, huh? My husband be like, "Why are you saving some of those boxes?" Now, once I if I have one or two boxes left, I throw the other ones away, so they won't have too many boxes. It's not like I make this all the time. Okay. Y'all don't know what you give structures to some hats. Y'all didn't know that was paper in y'all caps. <laughs> in y'all baseball caps, y'all didn't know that was cardboard. I don't know. Open it up and check. If you think they put interfacing in them things to sell to you, well, you better think that shit up again. People who's buying that expensive ass interfacing and putting in shit is those of us who make homemade items. For our costs can't compare. Our costs can't compare because we can't afford to buy the shit and make it at the same cheap price that others make their the businesses. But all you got to do is look in the inside those things. Cut them up and check it. You think you're buying you a $50. Um, you think you're buying a hat that I got to sell you $50. You think you're buying that shit for $25 for nothing at a big store? Mm, no difference. I wouldn't even be able to make, afford to make this hat. Uh, a lot of these hats, really, if I used the interfacing that's thick as this. Okay. <clears throat> so I made it this size. I chose the size that fits the fabric that I already had cut out. Now, if I didn't, if I already was able to cut out my fabric to fit, then I, then I would have been able to make this even bigger, right? But because I had the fabric already cut because it was used fabric, you know, fabric that I cut from something, then that means I had to, I'm making the item that fits the fabric instead of cutting the fabric to fit the item, okay? So anyway, I take one of these and then you take your fabric and you kind of just glue it to it. But before you do that, you just want to make sure your fabric fits, okay? Have it, it fits. I could have made this an oval, like the fabric, but I didn't. I made a perfect circle. Um, also, you're going to take this thing and you're going to cut. If you want it caved in, just a tad bit. So there's, a, there's the ones that are flat, flat as can be. It's, it's going to be flat as can be. And then there's the ones that have a little cave in. I'm going to show you how to do that cave in in a minute. Okay, but I do have to. I do have to iron this before. Uh, I'm gonna make this fabric look good. Give it some shine. Okay. Good. 
Sitting on it. This look dull right now. It's going to be my own. Um, what color was I making my skirt? Do anybody remember? I don't think I chose the color of my skirt yet. Right? I just was still making the pattern for my pencil skirt. <clears throat> Now, if I want this to, I, which I do want it, to, I think I want this to just be kind of plain. It does all kinds of things I can add. I can add lace and all kinds of stuff to this, right? But anyway, what I'm going to do, this is going to go on the inside of the hat. And so I'm going to want to measure the midpoint. Let me see of this. What my ruler? I don't want to make this too long. Oh, I must have I have a shorter ruler. I just saw it. Where is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so. I'm thinking this is six inches. Um. I'm going to say the midpoint looks to be about five inches. Put that at the five. Mm. It don't have to be the perfect middle, but I do want to kind of. Now, I think I'm a, I want that cut, All right? Nah, okay. I gotta measure that again. Just want it to be across that, so that I don't interfere with my pattern. Okay, let me put that there. Put you on. Okay. That's all. I'm going to kind of cut that line. Okay, cut the line. And that's going to give the hat, instead it, it looks like it's flat, but it's not really flat. You take it and it's going to have a little, a little curve to it, just a tag curve. Okay. I don't think I went all the way to this. Let's go a little more. Okay. It just gives it a curve, but it's still going to look flat. Okay, and that's what that does. That's what that cut does. Okay, and cut, give it a little curve. Just a tad bit, but nothing too drastic. Okay, and this. That's what that comes from. Do you take the fabric? Mm -hmm. 
Bless you. We look at them. Y'all catching cold? Why? Right, because it was cold in his house. Somebody had the air on. So I know if it was freezing in my room, I know it's extra freezing in y'all room. Bless you. That ain't no allergies. That ain't allergy. No, it's not. Oh, what you smell? What you smell? Like cat fur. I got cat across next door. That's way next door. What they got to do with us? Oh, damn. Okay. Nothing. It's, it's nothing. I just dropped something. Knocked it off the table. Bless you. What my baby doing? And then we're going to cut the edges. The honest truth is harder to, I'm not going to cut it before. We're going to see. And I wanted to get that delay correct, but I have to measure. Thank you. That's a miss, Annie. Yes. Okay, we're going to finish this later, y'all, because my back is killing me standing up here. That's because I didn't take any medicine today. All I took was uh, that black cohosh. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling, I was feeling good until now. Where's my trash can? I have to come down here um, and get everything back in order. My, my thing fell on the floor, which I didn't hear anything fall out. So that's a good thing. We're going to finish this hat. We're going to definitely uh, sew this belt together um, today, or should I say tonight? either after hubby goes to sleep or before we can at least tonight so i want to get by later tonight or definitely by tomorrow this hat and that belt will be done and then i'm going to finish drafting out the other side of my um my skirt this is the front draft this is the front side of the skirt my pencil skirt and i have to draft out the back side Okay, this is the one that I did. I did this after. Remember, I did one with you all. Um, that one somewhere over here. Here it goes. And this is the one that I did. No, this is this is what I cut off. Right, this not it. This is it. No, this is the one. It's over here. And that's beautiful. You can put the put these papers together. That's it. And this is what I'm. I'm going to do this to make the front the back. Um, I think this is it. Yeah. This is the one that I did on here. Remember, I started getting confused. I started giving numbers that I didn't need. It is a very, very slight difference. Uh, first of all, I think I added, I made this one longer than this one. Okay. And secondly, um, the difference seems to be um, the seam allowance. It looks like that's what I was missing on this, but I thought I had the seam allowance added, or maybe I'm maybe I have it wrong. Wait a minute, or maybe it's only like a actually it's about the same except the seam allowance. <clears throat> The seam allowance. 
Did I, did I write, did I add to see the miles to this? Let me see. That was 13. This is 13 plus the same miles. Um, yeah, so here, this is the hip measurement here. So that's the seam allowance um, and then the bottom. So yeah, it looks like the only difference is the seam allowance I added to the piece that I cut out second. So this is a correct thing, okay? But this one, I marked seam allowance here so you can see that it's a seam allowance. So actually when I put this here and add it to, Okay, yep. Except down here though. Here. I'm trying to think that don't look like an inch difference from here to here. Magic. No, it is though. It should be from here to here should be an inch difference. Let me check that and see. Let me put that there. Yep, that is an inch difference from here, there. It just don't look it. You won't be able to tell that there's a difference until we get to the back, okay? And, and even this is not straight at the bottom, but when it creases up because of my shape, this will end up giving like a little crease effect, you know, because my butt would make this go up. So this is, a, this is the center front. This is the center sides. This side is both sides. Okay. Um, and then now that's straight. This is up. And yeah. I'm just going to go like that. Essentially, it's up higher. Yeah. And that's why it's higher. If you, I'm not sure if you can tell. When you look at this curve here, this is the front, this is the size, but the size is higher. It's a whole inch going up. That's that. That's it's a whole inch going up, but when it sits on your waist the same way, the inch that's here will fall down there, which will have your bottom being straight across. <clears throat> because of my butt, it's going to lift it up. You <laughs> know? This, even though this looks like it's higher, when I put it on your body, it, you, look, you put it at the same part on your waist, right? The back, the front. But anyway, for those who know about bodies and clothes, you, you know what's about my. Anyway, yeah, I'm gone. I'm going to go take medicine. and But I will be back. I'm just not sure if I'm coming back to YouTube or if I'm going uh, to Facebook. I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely coming back. Okay. Um, to finish probably the hat. I want, before I go to that sewing machine, I want to be able to just get on the sewing machine and sew everything up that needs to be sewed. Um, and then that's it. And the honest truth is, this is basically done, except sewing. I just have some decisions to make. Damn, that's a little ant, y'all, a little black thing. Um, which is weird, because isn't it cold out? Oh yeah, they're getting ready to migrate. That's when I see I see ants uh, when the summer is coming and when they're getting ready to go grab food so they can go underground. And we didn't we didn't put anything down this year because they didn't uh, affect us this year. That's probably why I see a, a couple of them. Okay. Uh, anyway, this waistband. I simply, because it's already folded, I'm really just going to take one end. I'm going to stitch it to one end. And then the other end going to get folded on the other end. And then I'm going to stitch in a ditch. I'll show you what that means. Okay, I'm done, y'all. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Anybody have any questions? Anything I want me to make? Yeah, uh, y'all have to let me know, okay? It has to be something, though, that uh, it could be for a kid because um, that would be easy for me to make. I can make something for legally or um, that we have some people who do have children. I can make some things for them. 
I also have to make book bags again. I think y'all saw me make those though already, right? Oh, and I have to show her the fabrics that I have. She said it was two boys, two girls. Let me see. When it's the girls, I had. Um, so this little set goes together. Y'all like that? The little pouch with the bonnet. Okay. But I also make a tie that goes to the bonnet. So it could be a hair tie. You put your hair in this, and then there's a long strap that you bring around your head a couple of times. And then this, a, yeah. And then a little pouch that goes with it. Oh my God. What was I looking for again? Um, oh, the fabric. The little girl. Oh, here you go. For the book bag, which I've already made a bag like this for the girls. This is, what is her name? I forgot. Willow, something Willow. Uh, Widow? Black Widow? Yeah, this is Black Widow. That's girls. Even boys like Black Widow too, but. Um, and this is the fabric for the little boys. These are like the superheroes, but they're babies. Like they're baby superheroes. That's the Baby Hawk, Spider-Man, Iron Man. And I think that's, uh, what's the guy with the big hammer? Him. Okay. Um, I also, I have other things for little boys and girls. If they're into um, a strap, NASA. That's when they go up at NASA. Um, and then I have girls if they like uh, unicorns. Um, if you're talking Christmas scenes. I try not to. I try not to do the Christmas and and the holiday type of things. I try not to buy fabrics like that. Sometimes I do. Um, baseball, football, it's a little girl. So yeah, I have a few things that I have to get rid of. To be honest, that I need some fabrics, so I can make some more. If you, if the kids are in has teens, those basketball cards more because those fabrics are licensed. And if you like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, I do have those fabrics as well. Okay. I know she uh she wanted like I think she said three or four book bags. I think I'm gonna show you what the book bags look like. I think I have one now here. Yeah. Here is a sample of the book bag that I made. This is a, actually, this can be for grown folk. It, it does look small, right? But it's one of those things that the kids put on their back, but it's not as small as it looks. You open it up and it's a drawstring. And so it opens up like by pulling that and then it opens up. But it has big, nice size in there. It has a, a, a pocket and a big area. Right, and then it has a pocket here also, right on the thing. So there's a pocket right there on the fold over. So you could put some books in here. Let me see. I know people think it's small, but let me find um, one of the things. Mm. Uh, no, his books are. Let's say if you had something this size, which is adult size, it really it fits in there. It, it, I know it looks like it's small, right? But it fits in there. Now this is too. Now that's this. What size is this that I mean? Oh no, this is the one that I made for Lee. Lee. This is the tighter side. It does come in a bigger size. I made a little little one for Lee, Lee and then this, this is the medium for Lee, Lee, and then I have a, a small one for adult, and then I have this large one for adult in this style. Okay. 
This one is the medium for kids. So this one's not gonna fit that. This will fit like, I didn't put the size on this neither. That's why I thought this was the larger one. Something like this. Okay. So no, if, if you're looking for a book bag for them to go to, if you're looking for a bag, like a, I guess for the little girls where the purses, do not, make sure you don't tell me you want a, a kid small. Tell me you want like an adult small. That's why I need to know the ages. When people, when I be like, what's the ages? And they be like, no, I just want it to be like the one you got. I'm like, but I need to know the ages. Because if you don't tell me the ages, then you will end up with something like this. Okay. This is for like a kid who may not be in school yet. Or this is up to maybe third grade. When they start needing books, to carry books in their things, then this is too small for them. But when they go to school, first grade, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, then they can use these. But when they start having big textbooks, then they cannot use these, okay? I have to make it bigger. And that's, that's why you tell me either what the age are or what grade they are. And this is adjustable. Uh, I, oh, and a kid, um, an adult, because my niece, my niece, uh, I made one like this for my niece. She uses it, but it's more like a purse for her. It's not a book bag. She uses this as a purse. It goes on a back, and it's so cute. It's not this fabric. I used a, a, a cute fabric for her. I think it was that the male fabric or that Louis Vuitton fabric. I think it was the Louis Vuitton fabric. Oh. Anyway, I'm going on. I have a lot to do. Some of this stuff I record, but I have some things that I gotta make that I'm not recording because it's too much.